Okay, how do I look? You look so good. I don't know why that annoyed me. I don't know. <laughs> it should have. It should have annoyed me. She's like, "You look really good today, Michael," and I'm like, "Shut up." God, okay, yeah, we're over. <laughs> do you think? Do you think? Yeah, I feel like if you were in love with me, you would have really appreciated that. I do appreciate it. Sure I do. thing, pal. Bridget, I do not take like compliments well. Okay, you know that. <laughs> I can't. I can barely give them. Then why did you ask? Did you want me to say you look? That's not what I meant. You're an ugly pile of trash. I'm not saying, Bridget, do I look good today? I'm saying, how is the angle? How is, oh. I'm, not, I'm not vain. I'm like, do I look sexy? Uh, I'm asking you, is the camera on me? Do I look in frame? <laughs> yeah, you look great in, in the frame. Guys, today, oh, so we're not gonna be able to do this. Oh my God. I'm just kidding. What's going on, you guys? Get behind the camera here. Bridget was here. Right there. And today is Thursday. And I wanted today to be a really special throwback Thursday. But first, if you did not see the video we uploaded the other day, you missed the absolute best grilled cheese ever. Mm, God, I'm still thinking about it. And when I say that it's the best grilled cheese ever, I mean that you should probably not make this at home unless you want your heart to stop, okay? Honestly, I think everyone needs to try it. You only live once. Yeah, and it ends the minute you finish this sandwich, okay? <laughs> guys, I died in my sleep, okay? Oh. <laughs> no, guys, this sandwich will kill you. <laughs> oh, it's so Look, good. Look, I can't feel my hand still. It has been numb and in this claw-like position since I made the sandwich, and if you're wondering why, this is what it looked like. Here we go, thumbnail time. Oh! My hands are burning, dude! Dude, oh my god! How much cheese pole can I get here? Holy! Oh, wow! Okay, let's eat! Click the link below if you have not seen the perfect grilled cheese. I promise you, it is heart-stoppingly delicious. Oh, it's so worth it, guys. Is it really? Now, if it was heart-stopping, is it really worth it? Yes, I saw on Twitter someone made it with bacon. Oh, God. I personally am not a huge bacon fan, so I do without. Get out, seriously. <laughs> no, I need you out there. I need you out the room, okay? But it looked great. Dad would not put up with anybody talking about bacon, <laughs> and neither will I. Get out. <laughs> also, if you have not seen it yet, I uploaded a brand new video on Story Fire, and unfortunately, I can't even show a clip. <laughs> okay? Oh, God. This one is absolute the most savage I have ever been. It is about my brother, Dung, and Tuna. Mm. Okay, I'm gonna try to get away with showing as much as I can right now. Here's what they're doing and why they're stupid. That's all I can show. If you have <laughs> not seen the video, click the top comment, go over to Storyfire, download the app, leave a comment, and get ready for some absolute roasting. Oh. Well, I'm scorned. These two were dead to me, I'm sure. Many others really don't hold grudges, but I will for sure. Okay, Bridget, what is today? Today is Throwback Thursday. Today is Throwback Thursday, and I wanted to do something a little bit special because I found some footage that I completely forgot about, and I really want to show you guys because Grandpa always wanted you to see it, and I just never was able to upload it. I was on Facebook the other day, and I noticed that Lauren posted a status that said that her grandmother actually passed away, and I just... I want to say right off the bat, rest in peace. I'm sorry that that you're going through and I know that you were really close to both of your grandparents and this is really hard for you so my sympathies go out to Lauren uh, and I just want to say rest in peace seriously so I'm on Facebook and I'm going through Lauren's photos and I start thinking about my dad because he was really happy with Lauren I went through my computer earlier and I'm pretty sure that I stumbled upon what may have been angry grandpa's last day with Lauren and that last day is featuring Shooter Jennings. If you guys don't know who Shooter Jennings is, he is a really talented musician, son to the legendary Waylon Jennings, and current sausage gravy champion. Yeah, 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 yeah. I am a winner. I am a winner. Come on. Oh, God. Yeah, wait. It's really kind of weird. Grandpa and Shooter had a really, like, unique friendship. Right? They really like, did. It almost formed into a brotherhood of sorts, and they 
rode each other every night and they would call and FaceTime. I know, it was so cool. I'm pretty sure at one point Shooter was talking to my father more than I was. <laughs> <laughs> like one time I called dad and I'm like, how you doing man? And it's like, look Mike, I got Shooter on the nine, okay? I, I can't, <laughs> I gotta go. And I'm like, okay, nice talking to you too, man. Right? <laughs> like grandpa and Shooter were really kind of best friends as were they with John Hensley. Now John Hensley was actually Shooter Jennings manager slash best friend slash massive angry grandpa fan and he passed away the day before my birthday. And John, rest in peace man. If there's a heaven, I hope you and dad are just listening to records up there. <laughs> I miss him so much. Man, John was a really cool dude. And this right here was one of grandpa's prized possessions and now it has become one of mine. It is the guitar that Shooter played at Grandpa's house. Now, he actually signed it and said, fuck you guys, I appreciate that. <laughs> Dad loved it, it was one of his prized possessions, and now I have it, and I'll cherish it for the rest of my life. You know, a couple of days before Grandpa passed away, I was talking to Shooter on the phone. He told me he was gonna be passing through Charleston around the 11th, and he wanted to come see Dad. And he was like, hey, I would love to, you know, have your dad drive out to the concert. And I was like, listen, Shooter, Dad, uh, he can't get out of the bed right now, man. And I remember there was a moment on the phone where he, he was he was silent, and I could feel the hurt in his voice, and he was like, oh, no, dude, well, I'd love to come out to his house, and I want to see him. You know, if he's sick, I want to see my friend. And I was like, absolutely, man, you know, come out, see Grandpa. He would love to see you. And I asked him, I was like, Dad, you know, Shooter's on the phone. He wants to know if he can come see you, and he was like, God damn right, Bo. Get Shooter over here now. We can drink all goddamn night, Bo. Aww. And Shooter said that he was gonna come and bring Dad some Chinese food and said that he would uh, said that he would be there on the 11th of December. And as you guys know, Grandpa passed away on the 10th. So one of the first phone calls I had to make was the shooter and I had to tell him that grandpa was gone. So that's how close they were. That, that's what grandpa's friendship with Shooter Jennings was like and it's why I'll always appreciate him and I, I love the guy, seriously. Shooter, he's great. if you ever need anything, man. Also, I would really love a copy of that new Marilyn Manson album you're working on. I would, <laughs> I would, that would be sick. I'd love to have it. I promise to God I won't leave it, okay? <laughs> Guys, Shooter's doing all kinds of new stuff. He's working with Marilyn Manson. They just put out a new single, and it is unbelievable. It's one of the best things Manson has done in a long time. Okay, no more plug. Grandpa and Shooter were really good friends until the very end, and I don't know how I can pay back Shooter for all of that love and support that he showed my father, but until the very end, you made him feel special, man, and I... I appreciate that more than I can even convey into words. Thank you, my dad loved you and so do I. So a couple of weeks after grandpa passed away, I was making inventory of all the unreleased videos that I have because I didn't really have that many and I wanted to know what I had and what I didn't have. And it really wasn't a lot. That's when Lauren brought me this, grandpa's personal vlogging camera. The problem was he was either making videos and not giving them to me or just making little pieces of video with no ending. And I was like, Dad, <laughs> you, well, listen, <laughs> if I'm gonna upload a video, I need a beginning and I need an end. I can't just use a video of you like eating two eggs. I'm like, <laughs> I need like more than that. And he was like, okay, Bo. So I got the camera when Grandpa passed away and there was a lot of stuff on there that I had never seen before. And one of those videos is the one that you're about to see. Angry Grandpa's Last Day with Lauren. Now this video is from December 2016. It is from the second time Grandpa went to see Shooter Jennings in concert. Third, if you count the one in his living room. Hello, morning, birdie, yeah! You know, Bridget, I remember Dad called me and he was like, Hey, Mike, I'm going to see Shooter Jennings tonight. You want to come, Bo? <laughs> and I was like, Oh, hell yeah. I love Shooter Jennings, dude. Let me take a shower. And then I took a shower and I started waiting for Dad and he never showed up. <laughs> Stood you up. Dude, he stood me up. I got dressed. I was like, dude, I look good tonight. <laughs> and I was in my best clothes and I started calling him and he wasn't answering. And I know, I was so happy for you. Dude, I really wanted to go to the concert and he ditched me. Listen, to be fair, I don't blame him. I mean, look what happened the last time we went to a concert. Yeah, here. just take him backstage. Right. Yeah, I'll go oh, back right. here. Yeah, get out of here. Backstage. Backstage. Kind of you need to back chill out. You need to get out of here yeah, now. Take him backstage. Winds up. Yeah, I don't. That's out there. I'm going back there. Oh, I want you out of here. 
you know, Grandpa and Lauren, they really didn't go out a lot. Like, yeah, they went out to dinners and flea markets and hung out all the time, but I don't know how many date dates they actually went on. So being able to go to a concert together really constituted a pretty good date as long as they left me at home. So dad, I don't blame you. I would have left my ass at home too. <laughs> it was probably just like an empty gesture. Oh, it was definitely empty. He's like, hey, he, he goes, hey, yeah. Mike, you want to come? <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, he probably hung up. Shit. <laughs> Goddamn, what do I do, Lauren? Okay. This old fat shit gotta bring yourself into my day. I hate him. <laughs> Baby, I mean, it's, it's highly possible that was the conversation. Lauren, hit me up and let me know. Seriously. Oh my God. This video was from December 2016. Angry Grandpa was diagnosed with cancer in February and then with cirrhosis in July. So it is highly possible that this is the last real date that he and Lauren actually went on. Now a piece of this you may have actually seen before, but the rest of it is completely unreleased. Sit back and just enjoy the video that Grandpa always wanted you to see. But unfortunately, I was never able to put up until he was already gone. Dad, I love you. I miss you. This one's for you. Well, my old friend Shooter Jennings is playing at a place called The Poor House tonight. And he's been here several times and he, he likes this one Chinese place I go to. And I always, we, we always buy Chinese because that's the first thing he says, I sure want me some Chinese. I sure want me some Chinese. Well, Shooter, I'm gonna stop by there on the way to the poor house, and I'm gonna get you some ribs and some, and we're gonna get you some Chinese food. And then Laura and I, we're gonna take a long ride up to James Island uh, to, 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 to see you. Been a long time, man. Been a while since you and I had really sat down and talked. I'm kind of looking forward to it. So, Shooter, I'm gonna, we're gonna, man, hell with it. I'll see you at the poor house. Here I am at the poor house where I'm going to meet my old friend Shooter. I haven't seen Shooter in over a year. And this is going to be fun. So y'all just hang tight. We're going to have a good time tonight. We're going to be with Shooter and some other fella. I don't know who he is, but let's go have fun. Come on. Last time I really saw him was he was here before. That's been over a year. And I got presents for him. You better have something for me. <laughs> so let's go in here and let's just wait and see what shooters around or not. All right. Youngest, check out this here. Opening won't be long, and we'll see Shooter, and we'll have the reunion we're supposed to have. Check out this place, though. Good to see it's you. It's so good man. to see you. Oh, man, how long has it been now? Oh, man, it's been over a year. Over it's been a year. Since John, I mean, uh, wow. Yeah, we got my the man. Manager, my manager, Adam, over here. The new manager. Yeah, the man. That the, well, introduce him. Uh, yeah, Adam. Adam's, uh, Adam went on the road with my dad's band. Uh, well, I mean, while I was touring with the Waymore's Outlaws, that's where we kind of met again. But his, da his grandfather played in my dad's band, and as a kid, he was around. And I, he's younger than me, you know. So he was—he was younger than me, but he was around. We were growing up when when the when the colonel passed away. We, you know, I knew there was nobody better to take over than Adam because him and me and the colonel were like yeah. a unit, you know. So if everybody knew the colonel, it's Colonel John Hensley. He passed away. He was like his 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 manager, his best friend. John was like my best friend. John would call me pretty much every night. We would talk, and he's very much missed. Very much missed. Part of our family, man. Part of the angry grandpa. He brought us together. Yeah, he absolutely he did his brilliance of sending you that package. John, you know, Kurt, the Colonel <laughs> brought Shooter and I together, so. Nobody he loved more than angry grandpa. We will <laughs> never forget John, That's the right. Colonel. That's right, we will never forget the Colonel. So you're back in Charleston, you're doing another show at the Poor House. Doing another Poor House. Last time you threw a big fit in the damn sound check there. <laughs> <laughs> that was funny. That was funny, man. And the guys in the Waymore's band were like, who the hell is he and why is he yelling at everybody? <laughs> yeah, I know. That was so yeah. funny. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, 
god, and you're bringing it on the freaking elevator, man. Oh my god, it stinks. I hope she don't get on this elevator. If he does, he's gonna be in for a surprise. Good God. Kentucky. Yeah, going there uh, on Saturday. Saturday. And then Sunday in Nashville. So that'll be fun. I'll see John's parents down and then, there. Oh yeah. And then next Sunday be Christmas. Yeah. Already. With the kids. Gosh. With the kids. <laughs> All right. Mm. I love it, man. It's gonna be good. It's so good to see you, brother. Man. Man, we're like man. Yeah. Uh, we've 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 gone along pretty long river and we have not known each other for a couple years. Yeah, now, yeah, but we know we're there yeah, for life, brother. We long. definitely took, took, took a river, didn't we? Yeah. We, <laughs> see, John definitely sent us down a river without a paddle. <laughs> definitely, definitely. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man. He's probably kicked back now saying, God damn, boy, yeah. she and grandpa, they're sitting there together, I'll be damned. Yeah, man, you know he is. Having a good yeah. laugh about it. Yeah. <laughs> That's right, man. There's a bunch of stuff I know he's having a good laugh about these days. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm not, I can imagine. I love you, Misty. You gotta come see me next time. I come on. I'm, I'm here. I'm gonna come to California and see you. That's right. They're gonna come stay in our house, baby. But you gotta keep your dog off a leg. Yeah. I heard about that dog on the leg stuff. Yeah, oh, yeah. The shooter had a dog, they had diapers on. Yeah. No lie. They had real baby diapers on it. It's a bull, because, like, they make dog diapers, but they have a hole for the tail, and it's a bulldog, so its tail's like. Yeah, a little didn't work, yeah. so we had to get real baby hampers or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> we brought him a load of Chinese food, man. He, we brought a bunch of ribs. And I'm gonna be eating for. I'm gonna eat it all tonight and pass out. That's what's gonna. That's what you're gonna get on the bus, show. and he all had Chinese food. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I love. Well, you, we brought him enough Chinese that. food. He can probably eat two or three days. But. <laughs> That's right. You know. When I come back next time, youngins, we're gonna be watching Shooter on the stage. Him and. Uh, Jason Boland. Jason Boland. From what I understand, he's pretty good. He's so great, man. We'll all check him out together. Yeah, mm -hmm. hell yeah. Talk well, to you later, youngins. Good luck before you go out on stage. Oh, thank you. <laughs> break a leg. What is it? Break a leg or something like yeah. that? Yeah, oh, great. That's all I need, break a leg. <laughs> <laughs> I got to spill my drink, slip, break a leg. <laughs> <laughs> okay. this late I thoroughly enjoyed my time with Shooter I would have said bye but he's busy on you know finishing up a show but it was really good seeing Shooter brought back a lot of memories I had fun here at the poorhouse but now I'm tired going home I think I'm going to bed youngins Stick it in, Grandpa. I'll catch you on the next video. Uh, leaving you from the Poor House and on James Island, South Carolina. And. Tell Shooter bye. Tell Shooter bye, because he go watch me watching. And his manager, what was his name? Adam. Adam. Love you guys, man. Can't wait you come back, Shooter. We're, making, we're planning a few things together. We're going to be doing some songs. But we're going, we're going to load them straight load. We're going to put them straight on. Well, whatever. Anyway, I'll tell you more about it as we go. Bye, youngins. I'm heading back to summer. But I'm heading home. <laughs> Bye. I'm tired. Bye. Bye, Shooter. It was fun.
It was fun. I enjoyed doing that. I don't want to be sad anymore. Um, I know I don't either. I just wanted to show you guys that video. That was Grandpa's last day with Lauren. I feel like it would be criminal not to show you that video. I don't want to hold on to something like that. I Number one, I want to give it to Lauren. Number two, to Shooter. Number three, to you guys. Shooter, if you ever see this video, my father loved you, man. Seriously. He really did. He loved Shooter. Like a son. <laughs> you know? The son you never had. Sometimes he would be like, man, I wish you with my boy. And I was like, hey, what about me? No, what the other one? Okay. <laughs> okay. So he wasn't talking about me. That's at least Aww. there's that. He loved, he loved Shooter like, like a son. And I'm glad that you gave my father the time of day. I, I know that you liked him. I know you loved him and you made him feel special. And for that, I thank you so much. I'm getting out of here. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Smack the like button if you want more unreleased Angry Grandpa videos, and that's what I'm gonna do. Like. Subscribe. Favorite. Follow on everything but just. <sighs> I love you guys, and I love Dad, and I love Shooter, and I love everybody. I love you guys. What about me? I said everybody. I can't. Okay, I guess I could have singled you out. I also love you. It's a problem you never single me out. I'm you telling really? you guys, we're not in love anymore. Okay, stop saying that. I'm trying to think it. Dude, I love you so much. Okay, that's it. Do you? How much do you love me? This much? Fuck. It's always nice to go So now you're making memories of you, with your kids of you and y'all's Christmas. That's, that's right. That's fantastic. Yeah. All, you know, Christmas and just... Spending time with family around any of the holidays. You know? And so that's where I have a hard time making people understand. It's family. It's, it's all about family. It's all about family. That's right. Because it's the only thing that, you know, at the end of the day, it makes you who you are. And it's the only thing that, that you can really count on in a lot of ways. But you have to be part of it. Right. You have to you be know? part of it. And that's why I try telling you youngins. If you're mad with your mama, you're mad with your daddy, your sister, your brother, you need to tell them, hey, I'm sorry. What can we do to work this out? That's right. Cause because at the end of the day, it's late. family. Sometimes it's too late. It's know? going to come to the point where you're going to depend on somebody. You're going to need somebody. And it's going to be that brother that you're fighting with, your mother that you're arguing with, your dad that you don't want anything to do with. They're going to be the ones that are going to step up and say, hey, I help you. That's right. Listen to me, young. Listen to the shooter. He's... Yeah. That's right. That's right. And when they're gone, you miss them. When they're gone, that's right. When they're gone, you miss them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I miss my mother every day.